I think this is going to be a real brief video about the new target platform feature in Scorpion Engine. Uh, so this is a new feature sponsored by Bitbeam Canon. So instead of an AGA mandatory box, we have a platform box we can select from a couple of different target platforms. Um, at the moment, there is only just the two Amiga platforms. In the future, there will be platforms for other consoles and other computers. Uh, we can also make our own target platform, so I'll go into that a bit later. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll change it to the AGA platform. Uh, also, another connected change is instead of project palette, we have an Amiga AGA to palette for our Amiga, and then Amiga OCS palette for our OCS Amiga. So we can have separate plat we can have completely separate palettes for uh, separate platforms. Uh, let's say if we want to make an AGA specific version of this map, so this version of the map will only show up on the AGA output, not the OCS output. Let's um, let's open it up and let's just write the word uh, AGA up there in the sky. Okay, and uh, we're going to save that into one of our new folders. So if we go back up a level, we've got this new platform assets folder. And then underneath that, we've got uh, different platforms we can target. So, uh, for example, also that basically anything we put in there will be added to any of our outputs. Um, Amiga all is similar, except it's only, it's only going to be for Amiga specifically. And then we get more specific still whether we want to target AGA Amiga or an OCS Amiga. So I'm going to put in an Amiga AGA. I'm going to leave the name as map.tmx. Let's close that. So you can see it says AGA. And um, if we were to run that, we would get this AGA version of the map. Uh, if we change it back to OCS, we see the original map. Uh, but let's um let's make a custom target. So there's a couple of reasons why we might want to do this. Like we might decide that we might want to make a special uh, output for AGO, AGA owners that have fast RAM or AGA owners that have a vampire, for example. Um, we may also want to do a target platform for so if we've got a demo version of the game that only has some of the um, only has some of the assets, we can do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one called ECS. So I'm going to copy the OCS target platform, rename that to Mega ECS, and then I'll just open that in um, text editor. So we'll just go through the settings. So uh, our compiler is Amiga. That's the only compiler supported at the moment. Uh, the parent platform is Amiga All. So that basically says it's going to include all of the assets from the Amiga ECS folder as well as the Amiga All folder. So it's, it goes up the chain, but the folders at the bottom of the chain will override the assets. So any assets in Amiga ECS folder will override any assets in Amiga All. Uh, features, we'll leave that alone. It just says that we need the Amiga OCS chipset. And I'm going to change the description so it doesn't get mixed up. So I'm going to go Amiga ECS. I'm just going to call this My ECS Platform. And I'll save that. And let's go back into there. And we should be able to see that there. Yep, so we've got my ECS platform. And then we can do that exact same thing again. So if I draw uh, ECS on the background, So 
uh, we have an ECS version of the map. And let's, um, just as a final check, let's see if it actually works. So let's run that. And we'll see if we've got the ECS uh, tag on the level. Okay, there we go. Um, one thing I got caught out by was this has gone back to the default palette because um, I haven't defined a because um, I hadn't defined a palette. So I'm just going to copy my OCS palette. And there, that's fixed. Uh, that's fixed the palette. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, this is a very new um, feature, so it is uh, prone to break. Um, also, uh, possibly with this target, making custom target platforms, maybe in the future I'll add some sort of interface for editing them. Um, it's also possible that the format might change, so maybe a like if you were to create a target platform now, it might not work in future, but the format's simple enough that if you have to create it from scratch, it'll only take um, a few seconds to do so.